Hi, my name is Justin Schelp, and I'm the founder and runner engineering team here at Patch My PC. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can move your WSUS content folder from one location to another using the WSUSutil.exe utility available within the WSUS installation directory. A quick look at what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using the move content parameter within WSUSutil that's used to change your WSUS content to a new location. So this can be helpful if you want to move it like off the system drive because disk space uh, it could be a disk fails. And one of the reasons why we actually do this quite a bit with third party uh, software update publishing is because sometimes when customers initially try to publish updates, uh, the WSUS content shares that are created within the WSUS content um, shared folders when you originally configured WSUS can actually not have permissions configured correctly. Uh, and, and generally, rather than diagnosing it, a lot of times moving it to a new folder can actually be a good solution to reset permissions as well as the IAS associations for the WSUS content folder that are used for publishing local updates. Um, but either of those scenarios are going to be a reason why you may want to move the WSUS content. So a quick location of where the actual content location gets stored on the WSUS server itself. Uh, it's originally configured in the in the uh, registry. So when you go in and configure WSUS and put in your content on the initial configuration, uh, it's going to exist under the uh, software Microsoft Update Services Server Setup Key. Within there, there's going to be a content dir folder or a string value that will be the path that you configured when you installed WSUS. So in our case, we can see that it is CWSUS. So that looks good. We can see that exists. We also have uh, some content for third-party updates that we previously published in here as well. Uh, you may also have some folders that contain some Microsoft EULA files that will be like text documents within uh, random folder names. And if you're using standalone WSUS, you may also have some Microsoft update content here um, if you were using standalone WSUS without SCCM. So that's kind of what the WSUS content folder is used for and where it's located on this server. So in our environment, uh, we're going to look at moving this from the C drive to the J drive using WSUSUtil. Now, I've already created a WSUS folder on the root of J, and that's going to be where we want to target this move. Now, uh, we do generally like to go a little bit deeper in our videos. Now, there are actually two other locations where the WSUS content comes into play. Now, um, you want to make sure that in a uh, environment that's configured correctly, the WSUS content directory in the registry and within IAS should be the same. So for example, if you go to your WSUS administration website in IAS and right click the content folder and click the advanced settings tab on that virtual directory, that should also map to the same CWSUS drive that's currently in use. Now there's also a third location where the WSUS content location is stored as well. And that's gonna be directly in the uh, WSUS database. So if you right click your SUSDB and click on query, you can execute the following query that we'll include in the accompanying blog post to check the content location. Um, so ideally, uh, when you move your content or even ahead of time in an environment configured correctly, these should all be the same path. Now, one thing that we can see that happens is in some cases, uh, customers may share their WSUS database. And when they go to configure their second WSUS server, if they use a separate path, that does not exist on this server. So let's say for instance, uh, if you use the second WSUS and use the same database, and let's say you made it DWSUS instead of C. That's actually a scenario where it can cause third-party updates to fail to publish because the publishing will actually make use of the folder that is actually defined within the database. So uh, once we move here or even ahead of time, you probably wanna make sure that you have the same location among all three of these locations. Now, even if you don't, doing a move will actually reset all of these to the new location. So that can actually be a way that you can fix different issues if you did have discrepancies here in determining your current path. All right, so to start the move process, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and launch a command prompt as administrator. Uh, now, I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the location that we're gonna run this from just to save some time. So we can see we're double quoting this and we're just uh, launching that wsusutil command from program files, update services, and then tools. Now, um, to actually understand the options available, I'm gonna type in help and then move content, which is that command that's documented for moving the content. 
So there are essentially two options that you can use here. Um, you can choose whether you wanna include your content. So let's say for example, you, you've you been previously using um, third-party updates for that old location that you were currently using, and you just wanna move it to a new drive, but you wanna migrate all that content uh, for any third-party updates that you had been using. Uh, in that case, you would not wanna include the skip copy parameter. You would wanna make sure that you copy that content as well. Uh, if you don't care about existing content that's in there and you just wanna start over or you never use third-party updates in the past, you could potentially use the skip copy parameter and that's gonna be a little bit faster because it won't copy any existing content that exists in the uh, previous WSUS content folders. Um, so that's essentially the two different ways that you can run this. Now, in our case, we can see that if we look back at our old content in the C drive, we already had some third-party update content published within that WSUS content folder and if we look there, we can see we have some cabs and then we have our third party updates. Uh, and we also had some uh, files that are used during that publishing process within the update services pack. So we wanna make sure that we uh, move that content and we don't skip it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pre-fill in a command just to show you what we're doing here. So we're going to be calling the wsusutil command. We're gonna move the content. Our new location is gonna be the folder we wanna move it to. Now this does have to be pre-created. So we did pre-create that WSUS folder and then just the log file where we want to uh, so store the log for the move process. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute that process. In our case, it's probably not gonna take very long uh, because we don't have all that much content. Now, if you had a lot of content here, this could take a, a little bit of time to move all of that. So we can see it looks like the command moved successfully. So if we go ahead and look at our J drive, we can now see that we have our WSUS content folder looks like the structure is the same. We also have those files here. So if we were to go ahead and just kind of look at the properties of that, you should probably have a pretty similar size from your old location to your new location. So if we go ahead and look at our old one, it should be about uh, 16 megabytes if the move uh, was successful. So we'll go ahead and look at that. And we can see it's the same size here. Now, if you wanted to, you could optionally delete this directory as long as you're completely done and you validated that everything was copied, especially if you were moving this just to save some space on your system drive or the drive that you're moving from, for example. Um, now, that's pretty much the process here. Now, just to validate things on the back end, you can also go and repeat those three steps to go ahead and refresh the registry, validate that's JWSUS. We can also go ahead and look at IS. If I go ahead and refresh, my WSUS administration site and look at the content, look under the advanced settings. We can now see that's also JWSUS for the uh, root path. And then finally, if we go to our database, we can go ahead and execute that query and we can see that it is also JWSUS. So at this point, we are now in our new location. We can validate that all three locations that are relevant for uh, the WSUS content with regards to the shares um, and that's kind of the last one we can look here as well. If we refresh our shares, we should also see that the WSUS content and update services packs are also on that new location. So at this point, uh, we've moved it. And hopefully if this was being moved because you were having publishing issues with third-party updates, if it was something related to the WSUS content folder or the sharing permissions, this will likely fix that scenario as well. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.